All right, I'm gonna go over how to install a check valve. Now, check valves come in all shapes and sizes, and they vary in price. One thing I will say though is a check valve, 90% of the time is a luxury item that you definitely don't need. You know, I've been getting away without a check valve for a very long time. I really don't need one. The only reason that I am going to install one is because I installed the UV sterilizer, and if I turn off my pump, the water will train out and it'll fill up with air, and you need to purge the air out of the UV sterilizer, so I just don't want to have to do that each time my pump goes down or I turn it off. So if I have a check valve on there, I won't have to do that. That's the biggest reason why. Some other luxury things and a reason why you might want to install a check valve when you turn your pump off or it goes down for some reason, it's going to create a siphon and the sump's going to fill up with water. Continuing with that idea, when you do turn your pump back on, it takes a while for the equilibrium to happen where the water levels in your sump go back down and are equalized where as much water that's coming out of your display is getting pumped back into the display. With the check valve, it's gonna reduce that time. Totally unnecessary, so it is a luxury item. One thing I will say with installing a check valve, always install a check valve planning for it to fail. It's not if it'll fail, it's when it'll fail. So if you have your returns and they're adjustable like mine, you wanna see how low can I bring these returns if you ever want them to be low and not have the sump overflow and never go below that point. Because if you're relying on the check valve and you bring them below that point, one day it's gonna fail, you'll come home and you'll have water on your floor where you definitely don't want it. So just never set it up so where that could even happen. Don't think that a check valve is gonna prevent that. When it comes to installing the check valve, you can actually install it anywhere. I mean, you can put it right on the pump and you can put it right before the returns. You'll see a lot of people put it right before the returns or closer to the returns. The biggest reason for that is, if you think about it, water goes one way, not another way. And if it's right next to the return, the weight of the water is not that much. But let's say it's farther away from the return, all that weight of that water is going to be pushing down on it, making it more likely to fail, have more stress on it. Why add extra stress if not needed? With that being said, the most important part when installing the check valve is somewhere where it's easy to access, if that's possible. Depending on the check valve, like the Y clear ones with unions on them are gonna be the best because they're easy to access, take apart, you can work on them while they're still connected. I definitely wouldn't recommend hard plumbing a check valve in because eventually you're gonna to wanna to remove it or maintenance it and keep that in mind when you're installing. This check valve is probably pretty unusual. You probably haven't seen one like this. The biggest reason I bought this one is because I'm resourceful. I don't like to spend unnecessary money. My local plumbing supply store, it's not even like a big box store, like all they do is plumbing. Had one on hand. It happens to fit the size of my plumbing. It was super cheap. They had it. I didn't have to wait for it to be shipped. I'm like, yeah, give it to me. I'll take it. That's why I'm installing this one. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'll put some links to a bunch of different check valves and you can see they vary in price. The more you pay, the more luxury you get, the easier it is to maintain. It's three-fourths of an inch size, it was 10 bucks. It's a flat mechanism. And I'll show you where I'm gonna install it right here. The biggest reason I'm installing it there, easy access, can remove it, maintain it if I need to. That's the only reason I'm installing it there. So I hope that helps you out if you're wondering about check valves and are planning on installing one.